Berlin Alexanderplatz, one of the German capital's major centers and a place where thousands of people meet every day, some of them similar, some of them different. So it's a good place to make people aware that despite the differences in their backgrounds, they can and have to get on with each other. Diversity at work and in school instead of rejection is what the anti-harassment counselors from Berlin-Brennenberg are calling for. They're doing so within the framework of the first German Diversity Day, organized by the corporate initiative Charter on Diversity. Their focus is diversity at work, because the era in which only men beneath the age of 50 had any opportunities on the German labor market is disappearing fast. We need well-qualified and skilled employees. We need to leverage the potential in our country, and that includes increasing the number of women in the workforce, giving older people more opportunities in their jobs, and attracting more migrants. Diversity within a company as a locational advantage is one facet of diversity management. Also important, cultural progress in the economy and society. There are many dimensions to diversity management. The issue of sexual orientation and identity, the issue of migration, the issue of disabilities are really key aspects of diversity and all employers need to be more aware of these issues. Within a very short time, more than 1,500 German companies and organizations employing more than 6.5 million people have voluntarily signed up for the Charter on Diversity, pledging to practice diversity within their company structures. Von Hardenberg headed the diversity division of Deutsche Bank and she knows how much work goes into it. Diversity on its own does not lead to success. You need to manage diversity properly and that's the challenge for company management and executives. The first German Diversity Day was not about having a party. Across the country, 200 companies and institutions made it clear at some 350 events what needs to change to ensure that society can work and live together constructively. In the corporate world and in any other part of life. I think companies are trying hard in terms of intercultural communication, but it's still very difficult in schools. The 1,500 signatories to the Charter on Diversity have taken up the challenge, and more people are signing up every day.